Okay, folks, I'm Eugene Rathbon, and I'm about to show you a few examples working with radicals. Now, the thing you got to remember about a radical, when there is no index or number shown in the little notch, we understand it to be a 2. Now, I'm going to work a few examples of each. square root of 49. No index shown here. So we understand it to be a 2. So give me the number times itself. 2 times that gives us 49. That number is 7. Next, let's try square root of 81. I need a number two times that gives me 81. That number is 9. Okay. Square root of negative 16. Well, sorry, but there is no number that I can multiply times itself to give me a negative 16. Remember, like signs are always positive. Now, if that's the case, we put NR, which stands for not real. However, I can take a odd root of a negative number because three negatives when multiplied together will give me a negative eight. The number that I can do that with is negative two. Negative two times negative two is four. Four times negative two is negative eight. Next, variables. To do variables, I take this index, which is not here, 2, and divide it into the exponent. That will give me the exponent of the answer. 4 divided by 2 gives me x squared. Same thing with this cube. Now, I take 12, divide by 3, which gives me x to the 4. x to the 4 times itself, 3 times, gives me x to the 12th. three variables. I will divide each one of these three variables by three to get the exponent of that answer. On the x's, six divided by three gives me two. On the y's, three divided by three gives me y to the first, but I don't have to write the one because it's understood to be there. Now, on the z's, 15 divided by 3 gives me 5. So, final answer, x squared, y, z to the fifth. Now, I'm going to do a few that involve numbers and variables. Square root, negative 25x to the 8. Uh-oh, if you paid attention earlier, 
I said we could not take an even root of a negative number because even roots of negative numbers cannot be possible. Once again, not real. Square root of 81, x to the tenth first. That's the two there. Now, the number times itself twice that gives me 81 is nine. Therefore, the square root of 81 is nine. Now, x is, I'm gonna take 10, divide by two, and get five. Final problem. First of all, number times itself three times that gives me 125 is five. Now, divide both of these variables by three. On the x's, 12 divided by three is four. On the y's, six divided by three is two. Now, I hope that made that a little bit more clear on radicals. Now, the radicals I did today for y'all were perfect roots, which means everything came out of that radical. Now, a few more things you might want to know. Square root of zero is zero. Square root of one is one. Until next time, when I come back and do radicals that are not perfect, which means there will be stuff left underneath, this is Eugene saying peace out.